So Redis has to be the most amazing, most versatile modern database out there. Although it is heavily known to be used as a cache, but it is much, 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 much more than that. I'm sure you would have wondered how it works internally, why it is so fast, how it can handle large number of TCP connections while being single threaded. So hey folks, my name is Arpit Bhaini and I am bringing you this course on Redis internals where we will learn all key things about Redis, not just theoretically, but by re-implementing them in Golang. So let me give you a very quick walkthrough of this course. So this is the page of my course, which you can find at arpitbhaini.me slash redis hyphen internals. I put the link in the description down below, but let me just give you a very quick walkthrough. So the course is a self-paced course. It's a paid self-paced course in which we will be understanding Redis internals by actually re-implementing its core features. Core features like event loop. We will be writing our own event loop, our own serialization protocol, our own persistence, our own pipelining, eviction, transactions, and whatnot in Golang. So the database that we'll be designing will be a drop-in replacement of Redis, which means that while you are building this database, you can connect it with normal Redis CLI. It will understand the Redis CLI will understand what your server is doing without having to change anything, which is the, which is the best part, which means that we are not just building any key value store. We are doing things exactly how Redis does behind the scenes, right? So this is where you will find all details about the course. Let me still give you a very quick walkthrough. By the way, the database that we are designing, I'm naming it as DiceDB. This database, the source code is open source. You can find it on GitHub, github.com slash dice db slash dice, which is where you can find the entire source code. The course actually goes through and re-implements the source code step by step so that you can understand why we are doing what we are doing. So the course curriculum, the course curriculum is very, very, very fascinating split across eight chapters. The total time that it covers is nine hours. So nine hours of really deep engineering Redis internals, right? I had a ball while shooting it. So the first three videos of it are publicly available on YouTube so that it gives you a glimpse on how the course is structured. The first chapter is about starting up where we lay the foundation of our database. So course introduction is this particular video, what makes Redis special and writing a simple TCP eco server. These three are available on YouTube. The second chapter is about, about uh, the serialization protocol of Redis called RESP ping and event loop. This is where we'll be implementing our own event loop. So first we'll be understanding the serialization protocol, RESP implementing ping, IO multiplexing event loops, handling, uh, handling multiple concurrent clients. Then chapter three about implementing get, set and delete. The most basic thing that any in-memory key value store or cache needs to support, we'll be doing that. Then we'll be touching upon eviction strategies, auto expiration, that. Then command pipelining, one of the most amazing features of Redis, we'll be implementing that along with AOF persistence. Then we will go deeper into how every single object is represented in Redis around objects, encodings, and we'll be implementing INCR command. Then we'll be implementing the statistics, the most basic statistics of the database and the most fanciest LRU algorithm called the approximated LRU algorithm that Redis supports and we'll be implementing that. Then we'll be touching upon the memory management of Redis and how it actually does. Then we'll be doing graceful shutdown using signal handling, implementing transactions. These are we'll be implementing database transactions and we'll end the course with a bunch of theory, a bunch of theory on how fanciest data structures that you know that Redis supports like list, set, geospatial queries, strings, hyperlog log and approximate counting, how it uses the actual science and engineering behind it, how Redis makes things extra efficient. We'll be going through that. The entire thing is roughly nine, roughly it's, it's around nine hours content, right? So nine hours of really deep tech things. Now here, I'll not be wasting time typing the code. I'll be giving you exhaustive code walkthrough because I don't want to spend a lot of time doing like hitting backspaces and changing my code. So the code base is implemented step by step. You can take a very detailed walkthrough of that. I'll be giving a very detailed walkthrough of the code that I've written, right? It would help us save time and we will be covering the most crisp, like this will be covering all the topics in a very crisp, crisp manner. Okay. So why should you enroll? First, we'll be touching upon the internals. I'm sure you would love to know how Redis works internally. So that's a key highlight of that. Then knowing the unknowns, you become a better engineer. You would know so much about implementing database transactions, single thread systems, event loops, IO multiplexing, persistence, F-syncs, signal handling, and whatnot. Then 
you get doubt resolution. I'm sure when you go through the course, you will have a bunch of doubts and it's not that I would be leaving you stranded. The doubts will be resolved. Two modes of doubt resolution. First is asynchronously through Discord. So if you like when you enroll into the course, you will also get access to the Discord community, the Asli Engineering Discord community, where you can find a relevant channel and you can post your doubts. I'll be there to answer that, right? And second, over synchronously, obviously there are some doubts, some explanations which cannot happen asynchronously, right? It takes a long time to explain something. So which is where the doubt resolution will also happen synchronously every once every two weeks for over 30 minutes Zoom call that happens. Now this call would be common. It would not be one-on-one. -on -one. It would be common to all. The link would be shared. Would be, a calendar invite will be extended to everyone. It's optional for everyone. I'll be there on that call. Uh, and basically whatever doubts you have, you can ask them synchronously on that, right? And obviously network and community, you become part of the Asli engineering community, right? Okay. Glimpse of the course. This is where the three, the first three videos of the course, the course introduction, what makes it special and writing a TCP eco server are publicly available on YouTube. I really, really, really urge you to check them out, right? So if you find it helpful, do go ahead and enroll into the course. It's going to be fascinating if you want to be a better engineer. If you are curious about how Redis works internally, this would be, you would have a time of your life, 100%. Okay, then program prerequisites, obviously, because we are implementing it in Golang, you need to have basic familiarity with Golang. You just cannot say, I don't have any programming experience and I'll jump into it. It's not very beginner friendly. You need to have basic familiarity with Golang and you need to have very much curiosity to learn. Like you should be able to put in a bit of effort into implementing it. You need to have Linux based development environment. So what I'm doing, like why Linux based specifically, because we'll be writing our own event loop. Now writing an event loop requires you to integrate with basically kernel with system calls. Now here I've used Linux based system calls to interface with IO ports. To do that, we need Linux based environment, right? So if you have Windows, you can use WSL, which is Windows subsystem Linux. If you are on Mac, I would highly recommend you to spin up a Docker container and build this. But uh, having a Linux based development environment is needed for this. And third one, have a Google account because I'm too lazy to support any other login method except sign in with Google, right? So you need to have, you absolutely need to have a Google account so that I can like, so that you can sign in into the portal and access the course content. Okay, so once you meet all the prerequisites, this is how you can enroll into it. This is the fees. Fees might change depending on what time you are looking at. I typically would be revising it once every year. So I would highly encourage you to see the fees that you see on the web page and not rely on this video, right? But what you'll get, you'll get nine hours of Redis internals, curated resources to explore internals better. Every single video or every single topic that I'll be covering would have an exhaustive list of external resources that you can refer to, to get a deeper understanding and a better understanding of it, apart from everything that I've explained. Source code of our Golang based implementation called DiceDB. It is open source. You can find it on GitHub, github.com slash DiceDB slash Dice. Then bi-weekly doubt solving every Tuesday, 7.30 PM to 8 PM. Time is fixed, IST. Join that synchronously to get your doubts answered around anything around Redis internals. Then you'll get lifetime access to course videos and notes, lifetime access to Asli Engineering Discord community, right? So click here, make the payment, you'll get all the details over email on where to access. By the way, you can access the course on courses.arpitbhani.me. The link will be shared in the sign up email that you will receive, right? And this is about me and FAQ. If you have any common questions, those are all answered in the frequently asked questions. You can find it, all of them right here, right? So this is a very brief walkthrough of the Redis internals course. Just one caveat. Here, what I'm doing, first of all, we are not going to implement every single command of Redis. The thing that I've specified in the course are the exact things that I'll be implementing. For example, get, set, TTL, info, LRU, INCR, those because everything else is just fancy features, fancy data structure. So which is where instead of spending a lot of time implementing data structures, I'll be covering them explicitly over here while implementation of basic commands that you know will be, you can see this. This is the exact curriculum that I'll be covering. Second, I'll not be live coding things. I'll be giving you detailed code walkthrough of our Golang based implementation. Why? Because I don't want you to feel that your time is wasted, that in nine hours, if I'm just pressing a lot of backspace and writing code, instead of that, it's theory, and then we would be implementing. And in the implementation, I'll be giving, I'll be giving an extremely detailed code walkthrough. 
This way, we all utilize our time really, really, really well. But in any case, I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to go through Redis internals to see the things and experience the magic, the engineering, the science behind it. It's so fascinating. When I was deep diving into it, I loved every single minute of it. Right. So three videos are available are already live on YouTube. The first one is what you are watching right now. What makes Redis special? Writing a TCP core server, get a gist, get a feeling on what I'm going to cover. If you find it interesting, if you find it amusing, even a bit, highly encourage you to enroll into this course and make the best use of your time and know the internals of world's most amazing database out there. So yeah, I hope, I, I really, really, really hope that I would have sparked a bit of curiosity in you to explore Redis internals. If I did, go ahead, enroll into the course and I really, really, really hope to see you on the other side. Thank you so much.